The baby is inside your belly. Where is the baby? Right there. In my belly. Yeah, you're right. You say hi. Hi. Good morning, you guys. I didn't know Gray was going to start off the vlog like that. Um, if you can hear it in my voice, I am sick. Well, I'm not as sick as I was. I feel like I've been so, like, MIA vlogging. You are not just tired. Yeah, I feel like I've been so MIA vlogging because, um, like, this whole week I've been sick. Gray got a cold. We think it's from preschool, school germs. And so it was actually really scary. He woke up one night at like 10.30 at night. And I don't know if I've talked about this or not. Was having trouble breathing. And it really freaked me out. Halloween pumpkins. And so Anthony ended up taking him to the ER. You can have one. Which in, yeah, you can have one. Which in hindsight, like, we shouldn't have done that. It was overreacting. But I was just so scared. I was going to put him back to bed and he was going to, like, die. So we took him, they gave him steroids. They said it's just really bad croup. And they were like, hopefully none of you get it. Well, that's exactly what happened. Porter got it next. Um, he never got it as bad as Grayson though. Like he never had problems with breathing, but he was very grumpy for several days. And I tried as best as I could. I washed my hands, I used hand sanitizer. We've been spraying Lysol like nonstop and it didn't matter because I got sick next and I'm still sick. And this one's just been a really bad cold. And I don't know, I feel like ever since COVID, like I've had two really bad colds. And I don't remember if all my colds have been like this or if like colds have just ramped up because nobody got sick for a long time because we were all like masking and like okay. taking precautions from COVID. So I don't really understand like why, but I got a really bad cold last like fall, winter, and then this time is a really bad cold too. I don't think this one was as bad as the one before. It's just your typical cold, um, you know, lots of mucus and um, runny nose and um, sore throat. So you can tell it's still affecting my voice, um, but I'm feeling so much better. Um, like the past two days, I couldn't even talk because my voice hurt so much. You can still hear it in my voice, but it doesn't hurt too bad. Um, the boys still have coughs, but they're so much better, which is good because we have, we have, um, family pictures tomorrow. So I was like thinking I was going to have to cancel them because we would all be grumpy and too sick. Um, but they're outside and, um... We all seem to be doing better. So the boys are fine other than coughs and I've been doing much better too. And then Anthony, I, I think he, if he did get it, it's been very mild for him, which always seems to happen. Um, so he's been doing fine too. So we're all just recovering over here, which is why I feel like I haven't been vlogging very much um, because I've just been miserable. And of course I'm pregnant and so, I can't take like my usual medications that I would take. Like usually I would take NyQuil or DayQuil. I don't take NyQuil, but DayQuil. And I can't do that because I'm pregnant. So I've been having to take um, Tylenol, cold and flu, because that's approved. I could not believe how hard it is to find that medication. It's like sold out everywhere I go. And then I finally found it. It's overpriced and they hardly give you like any pills. And I swear they don't do anything. That's just been like super frustrating. But I am feeling better even though I don't sound better. <laughs> so anyway, it's Saturday morning. Um, the kids are just hanging out watching the show. Um, it looks like Grace gonna get out some Play-Doh. We might do that. And then in about half an hour, we'll get ready and Gray has soccer today. He's more than halfway done with the season. So we just have a couple games left. It's getting very cold around here. Um, we were under freeze warning this morning. Yeah, the days have been like 60s, um, 50s, so it's been kind of chilly, but thankfully tomorrow for family pictures, it's going to be like 64, so it'll be really nice. Should be able to be warm. We're dressed like in fall clothes, so we should be warm, except I am wearing a dress, 
but that's okay i'll just freeze it's just a 20 minute mini session which honestly if you ever can get a mini session i highly recommend it especially with kids because that's really all they're gonna be good for is like 20 minutes if that and so it's perfect and we've used this photographer before she took pictures of us last year um, I was debating whether I wanted to do pictures or not because, like, I'm pregnant, and so when we have the new baby next year, like, we'll, we'll get newborn pictures and family pictures then. But I wanted to get pictures now because I have a little bit of a bump, so we could, like, document that. And then um, Porter just turned two, so it's like, I want to get pictures, like, when they're these ages. Like, Gray's going to turn four and a half next week, so it's just a good time to, like, document how they look at this specific age. So we're just gonna do it. And like I said, it's just 20 minutes, so it's perfect. We just go, get it done. And then as soon as that's done, we're heading straight to the pumpkin patch. Cause like this weekend is the only weekend that works. Um, so we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch and pick out our pumpkins. Next weekend, Anthony and I are gonna be out of town. We have a wedding that we're going to. It's um, Anthony's good friend from college. He was actually a groomsman in our wedding. The wedding is in, um, Cary, North Carolina, which is like right outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. So we're going to go a couple days early and just kind of make it like a little mini vacation. And I'm so, so excited because Anthony and I really haven't had a date night in months. <laughs> so I'm so excited to go and get away, just me and him. And hopefully like I'll be feeling much better by then and we'll just enjoy. So I've been looking up things to do like in rally there seems like there's a lot so i'm excited and i think the fall colors around there should be really pretty and it's supposed to be um like decent weather like high 60s low 70s so i think it'll be really fun i'm super excited my parents are going to watch the kiddos for us so i'm glad we're not taking them because it's like a seven and a half hour drive so that would not be fun with two kids and taking kids to a wedding i always try to avoid that if i can because the, the couple doesn't want them there unless they're like um like in the wedding like ring bears or flower girls they don't want them there and i don't want them there because i want to be able to enjoy myself usually i want to be able to enjoy myself by drinking but obviously i can't do that so anthony will have to drink for both of us and i'll just be the dd and just dance with him because i love dancing with anthony so yeah kind of a busy schedule coming up but today like I said, we have soccer, and then I have Anthony doing a couple things. I have his to-do list. He needs to get a haircut for pictures tomorrow because his hair is crazy, and he needs to mow. And I think this will be his last time mowing our yard because, like I said, it's just getting so cold. The grass really isn't growing, but I want to get one more time in, and we won't be here next weekend to mow because, like I said, we'll be out of town. So I told him today or tomorrow you need to do that. And then... Um, this afternoon, I'm going to take the kiddos, and we're going to go to my sister Allison's house and just hang out with her. Her husband is out of town going to some NFL game, I think. And so she's like, I'm bored. I want to see the kids. I think she caught what they had like a week, two weeks ago. And so she's finally over that. And so that's why we didn't see her last weekend. So she's like, let's just hang out. So that's what we're going to do today. So um, I'll vlog a little bit of the soccer game and maybe at Allison's if we do anything fun. Um, I think we're going to freeze at this soccer game. Um, I think it's going to be like high 40s, low 50s. So it, the sun is out, so I do think that will help. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a little chilly, which is crazy because last year for soccer, um, our games were always at 9 a.m. because that was just like his age division. They always met super early. And I swear it was warm the whole season. Like we were wearing shorts all of september all of october maybe until like the last game and then it was cold but i do not remember it being cold until the spring season when it like snowed the whole season this year it's so different it's been cold we've only had like one or two games where we wore shorts everything else has been cold and we we're going later in the day because his games aren't at nine anymore they're at like 11 and it doesn't matter that we're going two hours later it's freezing outside so we're gonna bundle up and thankfully the games are only 45 minutes so it's super fast and uh gray warms up because he's running around and then anthony usually takes porter to the local park that's like walk right there like walking distance um it's really just me freezing while i like sit and watch him but it's good we only have like two more times i think um 
because he's going to miss next weekend because we're going to be gone. And then, yeah, there's just two weekends after that. So not too much more. And then we don't have to freeze until um, spring season. That usually starts um, about mid-April after Gray's birthday. And that will be interesting because we'll have the new baby by then. So I don't know how exactly how that's going to work. It might just have to be Anthony taking Grace into every game and I stay home with Porter and the new baby. Last year, I had Anthony stay home with Porter every time and I just took Gray. I think Anthony and Porter came to one, maybe two games that were actually like decent weather. But other than that, it was just me and Gray. But I think I won't be able to do that next season because I'll have a newborn and it'll want to be nursing all the time. So we'll see. I mean, maybe it'll be a warm spring. I doubt it. But maybe so anyway I feel like there's so much I need to tell you guys because I haven't been on here other than to do like my pregnancy updates so sorry this is just like mostly a talking vlog I guess but I will vlog a little bit of our day um I just feel like there's so much to catch you up on there's a lot going on we closed on our house a week ago I don't know if I told you guys that I think I did but that's done we got our money so that was good we were able to help pay my parents because they gave us some money to put towards this house so we get paid off with my parents a little bit and um now we have money to do some updates on the house and go on a vacation and things like that so um yeah everything is good on that we only have one house now it's just taken such a burden off our shoulders we're getting final bills in for like gas and electric and water and then we'll officially be done with that house so I'm so happy um to put that behind us and there's no like house moving like cloud over our heads so we can just enjoy being in our new home and not think about moving for many many years so I'm super excited that it's done we closed the buyer hopefully is happy with the house I did drive by it just curiously the other day it was about half a week after we had closed and it didn't look like there was anybody moved in yet so I'll have to keep um driving by every so often um it's on the way to my parents house so I'll have lots of opportunities to in the future and just to see like what if I could see if they do anything with the house so super glad that's behind us and we're loving this new house um we got our new couch in i don't know if i showed you guys and we finally got the ottoman in that came later so i'll show you guys here's the boys they're just lounging but here's our couch we love it i love the color it's like super soft material i wish you guys could feel it and then this ottoman just came this week so we're loving it and then we also got this recliner and it's electric which is like super fancy and so we like that too like the headpiece moves and the bottom comes out so yeah this is like our big big furniture purchase and we're loving it it came with a million pillows <laughs> so yeah things are coming along um still have boxes to unpack but it's getting there and again we're loving loving living here so i'm gonna stop talking because my throat is like going, um, but I will pick this back up when we get to the soccer game. Go, Gray! Come on, Grayson, all the way over, all the way over, bud. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Go get your ball, Gray. Bring it back over here. This way, Gray. This way. Over here, Grayson. Go, Porter. Go, Porter. Woo! We're on a walk in the forest. Yeah. You having fun? Watch out. Watch out. Lots of pretty fall colors. Yeah, I brought the wagon, but nobody wants it. Whoa.